the scripture in 2 Kings 7, chapters from 1 to 10. And what was going on here was that the king of Syria had attacked Samaria, this city, and they had attacked them so, had attacked them so that they were shut up in their own city. They couldn't get out. They, could, they, did, they had used up all their food. They were starving. They were to the point of starvation that they had started eating their animals. And they were being shut in on all sides by that Syrian army. So now, Elijah had gotten a word from the Lord, and uh, he had went in and told the king, he says, I have a message for you. The Lord promised that tomorrow here in Samaria, you will be able to buy a large sack of flour or two large sacks of barley for almost nothing. So he had went in there and prophesied to him, told him that God was going to make a way for them where it seemed to be no way. So now, while, while he was talking about that, at the same time, there were four lepers that were sitting outside the gate of Samaria. And they said to each other, why should we sit here waiting to die? There's nothing to eat in the city, so we would starve if we went inside. But if we stay out here, we would die for sure. He said, let's sneak over to the Syrian army camp and surrender. They might kill us, but they might not. Mm -hmm. So that evening, the four men got up and left for the Syrian camp. And as they walked towards the Syrian camp, the Lord calls the Syrian troops to hear what sounded like the roar of a huge cavalry. Do you hear what I'm saying over here? Mm -hmm. That's these four lepers just walking to the city. Mm -hmm. And what did God do? Okay, he, got, he said, the soldiers said to each other, listen, the king of Israel must have hired Hittites and Egyptian troops to attack us. Let's get out of here. So they ran out of their camp that night, leaving their tents, the horses, the donkeys. And when the four men with the leprosy, now leprosy is a disease that when they got it back there, they would put you outside the camp because you were so contagious. So they would let you sit outside the camp until uh, healing came. That's the way they did those lepers. So when the four men with leprosy reached the edge of the Syrian camp, no one was there. They walked into one of the tents where they ate and drank before carrying off the clothes as well as silver and gold. They hid all this, then walked into another tent. They took what they wanted and hid it too. They said to each other, this isn't right, today is a today to celebrate it. We haven't told anyone else what has happened. If we wait until morning, we will be punished. Let's go to the king's palace right now and tell the promised land. All right. Hallelujah. The promises are in this book here called the Bible. Right. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. The promises of God. He has given us exceeded and great and mighty promises that we should be partakers of his divine nature. Yeah. Now we realize that God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. You see what I'm saying? If he said it, he's going to bring it to pass. Uh -huh. Yes. He said, my what I will not break? I'm out, I'm my my covenant. covenant I will not break. No, alter. alter. One word I see. The thing that has gone out of my mouth. Good yes, God Almighty. My covenant I will not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my mouth. So you can, we can trust God. It's just like he said, uh, uh, that song we just heard, 
We got to learn how to shake a loose, shake loose everything that binds us up. Uh -huh. up. Uh -huh. And see, who's told us we can't make it? Who told us? When God has told us we can make it. Yeah. So now, why sit here in complacency doing the same thing that we used to do and not and thinking that we're going to get what? Right. A what? A different result. You hear what I'm saying? So now, here's what the, I'm, I'm going to bring two points out of this right here. What happened is, when, whenever you find yourself, wherever you find yourself, if it's not where you want for a change of direction, uh -huh. If it's not where you want to, if you're not where you want to be, or where you want to be, start working now for a change of direction. It's never too late. It's never too late. You know, it's never too late to change. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late, you see. See, now we all experience different turns in life. Some good, some bad. Now when the bad ones come along, it's up to us to do something about it. Hello somebody up in here. Because God has given us the uh, ability to what? Choose. Now we can choose to stay stuck <laughs> or to turn the ship around. Right. <laughs> it's right. up to us to choose. Yes, bro, yes. Hallelujah, glory to God. Right. Hallelujah. It's up to us. Yeah. Not, yeah. not not turn or uh, putting it on somebody else. That's right. It's up to us. Uh-huh. Or uh, you made me do this. Mm -hmm. I'm in this situation because of you. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Ah, hear it, darling. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yep. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. God has given us the ability to choose. That's right. Because he told us that if uh, I put before you life and death, uh -huh. blessing and cursing, uh -huh. choose life. So you and your children can live. Yeah, Choose life. Because it's yeah. going to affect your children. Whatever choice, my God, my yeah. God. Yeah. Whatever choice that you make is going to affect your yeah. children. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying up here? Yeah. And we know as parents, now, hmm. hindsight is what? Up here now. Hindsight is what? Because hindsight is a. Uh, 2020. Ain't <laughs> hey, y'all ever seen? Got me too. You got me on that one. Me too. Y'all young folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, hindsight is 2020. Okay. Because you can look back and see where you done messed up, right? You can see clearly. Yeah. 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 That's true. We can see clearly now that the right has come. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> see, we can look back there and say, I'm talking to those parents now. Well, we can see some of the choices that we made. Yeah, boy. <sighs> God comes out. Mm -hmm. It can affect our offspring. Yes. <clears throat> you see. But. It's never too late to what? Change. 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 Hallelujah. Change. See, if you are looking for a change, you must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. Let me get you. If you are looking for a change, you must make a choice to take a chance. I'm going to step out or uh, your life will never change. Let's look. 
let's take a couple of points out of here what the lepers, the four lepers said. Now, those four lepers was in bad shape, condition. They had leprosy, number one. And then they was outside the, the camp. They were about to starve to death. But what did they do, number one? They assessed their situation. If we want to make a change in our lives for the better, we need to come clean, make, assess the situation that we are in. That's right. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Assess it. Look at it. You know, this is what it is. This is how I did it. This is this and that. No. Mm. So come. here's what they did. Here's what they did. Okay, they says, look. They assessed their situation. They say, okay. Why should we sit here till Come we on. die? Come on now. Why should we sit here in on this stool of do nothing until we die? Because, okay, we look at it like this. If I, we go into the city, we now, now we sit here starving to death. Mm -hmm. If we go into the city, they starving, they ain't got nothing to eat. We're gonna die. If we stay here, we're going to die. So they assess the situation. And then what they do? Then you got to make, after you uh, uh, assess your situation, mm. you got to make a decisive move. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't be afraid of failure. If you feel like you step out there and you don't make it that time, don't be afraid to step out again. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's right. Because if you step out that first time mm -hmm. and something go wrong, mm -hmm. you're going to learn something from that. You got to. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and, and then you learn, don't start, let the enemy put you in your mind that I can't do nothing. I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a failure, I'm a that. Uh-uh. You learn something from that. And then you step out again. You're not going to make that same mistake that you did the first time. Because you're going to learn something from that failure. Okay? Because this is what they did. The left was okay. They assessed the situation. They said, now, if we stay here, we're going to die. If we go into the city, back into our camp, we're going to die because they ain't got nothing to eat. He said, okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's Sneak over to the enemy's camp. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to the enemy's camp. That don't even seem logical, right? Mm -hmm. But what they said, let's go over to the camp. They, they, okay, they said it was going to die anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they said, let's, let, let's go over to the enemy's camp. They might give us some food and, and cause us to live. But if they don't, we were going to die anyway. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So they stepped out. Look, God from Zion. Do you hear what I'm saying? They stepped out. They had already assessed the thing, but they didn't sit around Come on and now. sit right there. Okay, we, let's die right here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Come on now. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't going out like that. That's right. Come on now. from Zion. Huh? You, we got to realize that we're not going out like this. That's right. Because. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because God has blessed us. Yes, he has. He has crowned us with loving oh, kindness and yeah. tender mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. He has placed in us the ability to grow. He has placed within us the ability to, to do more, be more than what we are right now. God. Come on now. To go further than we've gone before. It's in us. But a lot of times we don't move because we're afraid. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. What if I don't? What, so what if you don't? You learn something. That's mm -hmm. right. Look at it as a learning process. Mm -hmm. Step on out and, and, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid to move, you see. And see, we got so much back in us. Mm. We got the supreme yeah. being. Oh, 
glory to God. We got the most high God, uh -huh, uh -huh. the true and living God, the one that loves us, backing us. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So what happened? Okay, so they start to trekking out. They start to moving on out. Lo and behold, the, the soldiers sitting up in that enemy's camp, they heard troops coming. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? They heard troops coming. Oh, oh my God. They got so upset. They said, now he, they done went and got some help. And here comes all of them Hittite and the Egyptian armies. We gonna be torn to shreds. Boy, they got up from there and they started running, throwing off the clothes, left all the food on the stove. I mean, I mean, throw the clothes off, the gold and silver, <laughs> and ran. <laughs> Look at God. Look at God. Well, whoo, good God Almighty. Look at God. See, they stepped out. Who, who knows what God got planned for us if we don't never step out? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. Oh, my God, Thank my God. God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying here? We've got to, we're not going to sit in this same place until we die. Mm -hmm. You know, right. we don't want right. to die with all everything that God has placed within us. Mm -hmm. You know, all the gifts, talents, and abilities he has placed within us. So the thing we got to do, we need to learn how to set some goals. Yeah. You know, set some goals. Set some goals for your relationships. Set some goals for your finances. Set some goals for your help. You know, set some goals. They don't, and, and you, you can, if it's, if you, you know, sometimes we put our little goals in our mind, in our head. We don't write them down. But they say if you write them down, that helps more if you write your goals down. Because you know how we do the New Year's resolution? Uh -huh. We say it's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, but we don't keep up with it. <laughs> so, you know, goals is something like that. You know, it's like a thing to do list. We, we used to write that up. Okay. You know, you set a goal. Okay, this can be a little goal. You start out, if you get, once you complete that, boy, that'll give you satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And then you, you, it'll make you have confidence to set some more goals. You see, and then when you set goals and you look at them every day, and then you know you begin to look at them every day, and the Holy Spirit will show you how you can do them. You say, "Oh, my steps, oh Lord." Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? The Bible says, "Trust in the Lord with all your what." All right. Lean and on. lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all your what ways, way, way. and He'll direct your, your path, your, your steps. See, you, you, you're going to direct your steps. You can't keep sitting there and saying, okay, I need a job, Lord. I need a job. I need a job, Lord. I need a job. Mm -hmm. And you ain't got up. Come on you ain't up out that Come bed. On you ain't fixed no resume. Mm -hmm. You ain't went to nobody's door. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you say, God, you think God's going to, he'll order your steps. He'll direct your steps. Mm -hmm. So you got to get up and start to move it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, start the movement, doing something. Mm -hmm. Just like them lepers, if they had kept sitting there, what they would have did? Died, grave your day. Come on, died over it. I heard the day. So now, the goals, the goals. It's just like for Esther. I set a goal, cause see, I, they tell me, that's what they say, that sodium. Is bad for your blood pressure. Uh huh. Okay. So I made a goal to cut down on my sodium intake. Uh huh. Okay. So then, once I made that goal to set to cut back on my 
sodium intake. So what do I do? Now I look at everything, I read labels. There you go. Uh -huh. I, I see what, how much sodium this got in. Oh no, I can't put that back. Yeah. How much sodium this got in. Put that back. Okay, this got half of so, You know, you got to read so mm -hmm. you, yeah. and then, you know, I count my sodium intake per day. Yeah. You see. And so, and then I take my blood pressure. And see, my, one of my uh, 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 goals and one of the, my confessions is that my blood pressure is 120 over 80 without the meds. Amen. They're saying it, right? Amen. Okay. So then every, every uh, five, five, six days, I take my blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And it's coming down, 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 down. So I'm expecting one day. And when I go to the doctor, they're gonna say, you don't need these right here no more. Come on now. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is talking about this, you know, why do get up and do something. That's right. You know, that's a goal for my health. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, make them goals for your health. Mm -hmm. Even though we're standing on the word and, and saying by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Right. Because we are. That's what the word says. But what what do you need to cut back on? That's right. What do you need to do to help it? That's right. You see what I'm saying? God healed you from this right here, and you're going to keep on doing the same thing you were doing? Mm -hmm. That got you in that shape to start with? That's right. That's right. Because a lot of times, stuff that we put in our bodies is what's causing our health to go bad. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm about some goals now. Mm -hmm. So now, what we got to do is begin to agree with everything God has said about us in the word. Agree. I agree with everything God has said about me in his word. So how are you going to know what His uh, what uh, God said about you in his word unless you what? Get in it, read that New Testament. All the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. This is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, what is his will? His word. If we ask anything according to his word, he does what? Hear me. Hear us. And if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have the petition that we desire from him. That's right. If it don't come one month, you keep right on standing on that word. That's right. If it don't come six months, you keep right on standing on that word. If it don't come in a year, you keep right on standing. Amen. Or did they ever talk you out of your healing? I agree with God's word that I prospered. Do you hear what I'm saying up in here? What does the word say about being proper? He says that uh, he wishes above all things that we what? Prosper, prosper and in be health. in health, even as our soul prospers. Yes. You read that word, you prosper. He'll show you how to prosper. He'll show you how to prosper. So you just agree with God. Agree with God that you are redeemed. The Bible said that the redeemed of the Lord say so. Did you know you're redeemed? Yeah, I'm redeemed from the curse of the law. Amen. Jesus paid it all. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. So why sit here and die? Come on now. With all these gifts, talents, and abilities in us. Are we going to be so complacent? That we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Mm. That was sad. Do you hear what I'm saying up in here? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of